Hi. In our videos we usually talk about equipment for the processing of industrial oils and maintenance of transformers. But today I'll tell you about another important Globecore business, manufacturing of plants for modification of bitumen with polymers. Road traffic is on the rise globally, along with the loads. The road surface requires regular maintenance, which increases financial costs. This is due to the fact that bitumen binder in asphalt concrete pavements softens at high temperatures and becomes hard and brittle at low temperatures. This leads to cracks in the roads. Now, the situation can be corrected by introducing polymer additives into bitumen, which will give it the properties that cannot be obtained by varying petroleum materials or by changing the production technology. Modification with polymers reduces the brittle point, increases the heat resistance of bitumen and extends the life of road surfaces. We will consider the modification process using the UMB6 plant as an example. The main advantage of this machine is the simplicity of the operating program. The plant operates in cycles, and each cycle consists of several sequential operations. One cycle lasts 40 minutes and produces 4 cubic meters of modified bitumen which translates into 48 cubic meters in an 8-hour work shift. The controls of the UMB6 are very simple and the plant does not require highly qualified operators, since the equipment runs in automatic mode. After placing a pre-weighed amount of polymer in the hopper, just select the modification operating mode and the number of cycles on the control panel. The plant starts, bitumen is heated to 190 degrees Celsius and is fed into the reactor vessels, and polymer is added by a screw conveyor. After the reactor is filled, the supply of ingredients is stopped. During loading and unloading from the reactor, Three high-speed propeller mixers operate inside, evenly distributing polymer particles throughout the entire volume of bitumen. Upon reaching the upper level in the reactor, the mixture of bitumen and polymer is pumped into a colloid mill, which grinds the polymer and accelerates its dissolution in bitumen. The degree of grinding of the polymer can be changed by adjusting the gap between the rotor and the stator of the mill, the minimum of that being 0.3 mm. From the mill, polymer-modified bitumen enters the second tank. In that tank, a slow-speed mixer accelerates the dissolution of polymer particles. And after filling the second tank, the bitumen is pumped out and once again passes through the colloid mill, from the outlet of which it enters the finished product container for storage. The second pass through the colloid mill is an important feature of the UMB plant. It occurs at the time when the next cycle begins and the first container is filled. Thus, the quality of the modified bitumen is improved without compromising the production rate. Also, the plant can introduce adhesive to increase the connection of bitumen to stone materials in the asphalt mix, and a plasticizer to accelerate the process of polymer dissolution and increase the homogeneity of the binder. To introduce additives, select the Modification plus Additives mode by pressing the corresponding button on the control panel, after which adhesive and plasticizers are fed into the bitumen pipeline upstream of the pump. The rest of the process is the same as in the first mode. At the outlet, we received bitumen with balanced properties. Adding this bitumen to asphalt concrete mix allows us to double or even triple the service life of roadway pavements. In addition to the simplicity of the operation and control of the plant, it's also worth noting how versatile it is. The UMB6 plant can operate wherever there is a need for modified bitumen, and the design of the conveyor allows the use of any kind of bulk polymers for modification. Also, the dimensions of the plant are adapted for placement in 40-foot containers, so the equipment can be delivered on site by road, rail or sea transport. In what other industries could this technology be used? Leave your opinion in the comments. Additional information on our equipment can be found at www.globecore.com.